Good morning, everyone. We're back again to the flea market. It's uh, It's been a while since I've been on a walk around. It looks like it's a mixture of fairly busy and not busy. A lot of sections look like they're empty, but it looks like a lot of the normal regulars who are here every week are here this week. Unlike last week when I sold, but let's uh, let's try to find some treasure. See what happens today. Not yet. I saw that wing bow. Pretty. Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, but pretty good price. Pretty good price. Yeah. That's all medium. Oh, that's, that's large. Medium. Yeah. That's what, extra large. What's the price large. on them? Five bucks. Five bucks each. So I bought a vintage Finland vodka shirt. I don't know how that ended up here in America, but it did. He had a whole bunch of vintage like um, alcohol shirts, liquor shirts. So I think I'm gonna go back and actually buy one or two more because I gotta do a little bit of research. But they're really all odd names, like names that you'd never heard of. And I don't know. Liquors I've never heard of. Mount Gay Rum. Apparently it's in Barbados. It's so old, like, I don't know if you can see it, but, like, the threading on it is, like, very, very vintage. I don't know if it's, like, on a vertical spread or what you would call that. Made in Brazil. On a ringer. How often do you find true vintage ringer shirts? Harder and harder in between. about Cabbage Patch Kids, so. I know yesterday at that auction I went to, it, there was one that sold for a dollar, and the guy was saying how people used to fight, kill themselves over a $300 thing, and now it's selling for a dollar. So times have changed.
gonna go do some treasure hunting trash picking on the way home um this is actually getting recorded the same week i think of brimfield and uh obviously it's been very very humid and hot the past couple days here uh, i'm kind of surprised the flea market filled in as much as it did but all i got were two shirts um seems like we're almost coming to that time of the year where I would say a lot of people are, I wouldn't say bringing back the same stuff, but you start seeing the same kind of stuff. Uh, whereas post like in spring, you know, it's the, people have been holding stuff all winter and just in the masses. I've always mentioned also how I think they should widen this part just a little. Maybe like three feet, that person. I wonder how many people have sliced their tires on these rocks. This guy's gone. Oh, he's going that way. But uh, let's see what else we can get in store. Happen. Never know. We'll see. Looks like we might have two bar stools out here. My 30s and my Jeep. Actually, look like they're in pretty decent shape from the road. It's, uh, it says it's 71 right now. Or 79. Not 71. 79. Kind of feels a lot higher than that. It doesn't feel as humid as it did yesterday, but it's also like eight o'clock in the morning. Let's grab the other one. I'll put you down for that one. Tried to show you kind of a reenactment, but I did that and smacked me right in the knee. So that was, was a fun start to trash picking, I guess. But I know it's not a trash picking episode, but a matter of like four hours, aka probably the next video that I do, um, those will probably not be out there. Just because I know this area gets picked over very quickly. Oh man, I see a dumpster out there. At that shelf, that's... Huh. It's amazing because I'm pretty sure it's probably better stuff in that dumpster than things that they're going to put at the curb, but it's a bunch of bins in there. These people have a couple things out. I think I picked up something there last week when I did my trash picking. And these people have some stuff out. I know this house is for sale. Let's see what we got. Looks like, I don't know what's in that little folder thing. Folder thing. Does it say sold or does it say, what does it say? I know they had an open house. No, it just says for sale. Yeah, it says, it says for sale. I don't know what that flimsy thing is, almost like, it's a good poster box. Good for uh, shipping posters. Poster box. It's not a poster box. Poster tube might be it. I think that flimsy thing might be for cleaning a chimney. But that's just me guessing. Usually there would be a, like a, not a spiky thing, but like a brush on the end. It looked like something screws on the end, so it could have been that, or it could have been something completely different. But it was flimsy, it wasn't like a solid piece of metal. Alright, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Not really worth a ton of money. I mean, these are probably like only like a dollar or two dollars in scrap. I don't know, I might try selling them. There's a nice set of two rather than four. But two is always better than three or one. Don't ask me why, but that's just how it is. I have to do so much yard work, it's insane. And I don't know if I should try doing some now before it turns into a furnace out here, or should I just wait? The only two things that I found today was this uh, Mount Gay rum from what looks like Barbados. 
nice ringer shirt um he had a bunch of vintage shirts i don't even know if i got any footage of it it was all a bunch of shirts that were in uh bins but all the shirts were five bucks and they're all liquor related it was like a guy who does like liquor wholesale stuff he had tons of signs but they're all like the, the ones that you get at like the store so i assume he probably had some sort of liquor store and then this nice finland or vodka finland t-shirt it's a vintage uh screen stars so pretty cool I think the Mount Gay rum shirt, I think that's, uh, I think there was one online for like 50 bucks and one might have sold for, I think, 30. So for $5, I mean, it's still a profit. Um, if the shirts were like a dollar or $2 each, I probably would have bought probably a couple hundred dollars worth, but they were $5 and they were just nothing really too special. If anything, I had like a really cool logo. I, I kept digging through it trying to find one, uh, but they were pretty basic. Like the, uh, sort of like the promotional shirts that you get at a beer distributor if you're been to one and they give out free shirts it just that's exactly what they were like but these were all liquor related and they weren't all old or vintage there was probably a, like a 50 50 split so that's why i found the flea market it was good seeing everyone i got to see james and jess so i brought them two boxes of stuff i know they've been around for a, quite a decent time for my channel so uh it was always good to see them and now that they have another kid um a really young kid just a couple months old it's kind of hard to get up to the flea market considering they come up from maryland so um yeah it, it was good to see them but uh flea market's done for today i guess i'll start my chores maybe i'll do some weed whacking or cleaning up in front of the garage just doing things outdoors in the summer just don't seem very fun to me i don't know maybe i'm different maybe you guys agree anyway if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe down below till next time have a great day keep living a dream Peace.